All right, well, hello, and welcome to Bamenoid. So this is actually gonna be my very first video. Uh, brand new YouTube channel, I've actually never made one before, so be easy on me in the comments, I guess. Um, so if you haven't already read the title, it's just freaking wild. So if you haven't already read the title, you know this is probably just gonna be a very average GameCube restoration, uh, GameCube controller restoration. <laughs> So I didn't really know what to mark out, so I kind of just marked out everything. I can't already tell. So go ahead and crack it open. Uh, I believe this one actually has a uh, missing joystick. Jeez. <laughs> I bought two replacement. Man, this thing's freaking stuck. Jeez. So, God, that was a massacre. So here it is. I've actually never opened this. This is first time open. Yeah. So here she is. Pretty grotty, as some might say. I mean, like, it looks pretty nice, though. It's just a little dirty. Give it a good clean, go ahead and unwrap it. Bring it on up. So I've actually done a game controller restoration of my own, but I never I don't know if it's the first video of course, but for a cleanliness comparison, it's pretty pretty nasty, honestly. Pretty disgusting. Uh really wasn't that hard, honestly. Uh pretty simple, basic, but I actually wanted an actual Classic GameCube blue, purple, political, whatever that is. That is that is disgusting. That that is actually a bit revolting. Actually, it's yeah. so I can go ahead and start opening her up. I guess. Got my iFixit tools. I believe it has try wings. Pretty disgusting try wings. Uh, there we go. So I've always liked restoring old things, but finally decided it might be kind of fun to make a couple videos on it. Uh, actually have a little treat here to put the screen in. I don't know if it's in frame or not. But um, it's always just been fun for me. Something just not too hard, just kind of relaxing. Screws on the top here. Just kind of in the way. So I guess we can go ahead and pop her open to see what the inside looks like. Probably disgusting. Oh yeah, that's. I always like to see that. Oh, Lord, that's disgusting. So um. Go ahead and pop out the motherboard, I guess. I don't know if there's a name for it or not. I guess it would be called the motherboard. There's that stick. I'll have to be replacing that one. I'll take off this one right here. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Very, very nice. Go ahead and get all these pieces separated so I can go ahead and throw them in the sink and give them a good scrub. See, I, I might just clean out some nice, nice purple, actually. Let's move this out of the way for now. Actually, I do need that. This actually takes a little Phillips here. These are always a bit fun to get out. Come on. 
God, I'm gonna strip it. Jeez. got the shell all cleaned up it's time to clean the actual board so use some q-tips not sponsored would appreciate a sponsor the isopropyl from equate not sponsored i'm sorry these jokes freaking suck i'm sorry all right let me go ahead and give all of the contacts in here i literally got no alcohol Go ahead and clean the actual contacts. Loose them off. Get all that black disgustingness off. Get more responsiveness. It's not for the fun part. I actually do have a replacement stick for the uh, man analog controller, so go ahead and open this up without literally destroying the board. I don't like this. Just saw it into it. Yeah. There we go. Don't. That was the most unsatisfying unboxing. Unpackaging. I've ever done, so. Yep. Those are sticks. Chinese. You got the word for it. Uh, they will look old. Oh, they look weird. Yeah, maybe you might need that to get back to me. This one's just abhorrent. Good look. What even is that? So, on the other side of this key thing. And then, clean around this because, man, that is. That is that disgusting. So much hair. God. So now we can get the rest of that hair off. Disgusting. Okay. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna pop this one off and see what it looks like. This one really doesn't look so bad. If I could just replace, clean it up a little bit, maybe we can get rid of the official C stick because this one's just plastic. And I like how the Actually, it's kind of like a feel for me, but I'm go ahead and clean this one up real quick. That's D 
decent version of this because I know it's bad as the other one. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this one onto the actual stick here. There you go. Thank you. So I'm actually also going to clean out my You know what? That looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna keep that one. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right. So now we need the shell. Here she is. Actually, the inside of this did not get clean at all. It's, it is disgusting. I hope you can see that. It, it, is, it is horrible. I'm going to clean that. Again, this is my purple, actually. I forgot. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it's very, very loose. I think I'm getting another thing to hold the actual camera, which is just my phone right now. So quality may be terrible. I don't know yet. I haven't tested it out beforehand, but it looks pretty alright. That's how I would describe it. Alright. That's pretty good. Some of that crap's just caked on. You won't see it. It's, it's clean. It's disinfected at least. All right, I'll just give a quick rinse over on these button contacts. Keep putting the purple away. Way too early. Just give this a quick clean Use the D-pad on the GameCube controller. I know it's like using a Wind Waker for the map. What else is this used for? I guess melee could be a thing that's kind of dirty. Crap, I haven't really gotten into melee too much. I played it when I was like a lad. And because we had like a. I had a GameCube, so my sister got one from her friend. I played the crap out of that thing, though. I didn't play that much. Uh, so yeah, we gotta put the triggers in real quick. I say real quick, this is about the slowest part. If I can remember how to do it correctly, that is truly the question. There we go. There we go. Nice. Now, the logs go ahead and reset. Good noise. There. Thank you. 